So how many times have you passed up these Victorian photo albums? Some are in good shape, some are in bad shape. A lot of them are very interesting. And then some of them, like this, is just kind of plain ugly. <laughs> um, and you pass them up. And I passed them up, for, you know, for years. Then I decided to get one. After I got it, I said, well, what am I going to do with it? So a couple of years ago, I started turning these into junk journals. And what I would do is I would repair the spines. Some of them didn't have spines. And then create a journal out of these. And then just fill it up with all of my leftover scrapbook papers. And then I had a foundation for a very interesting junk journal. And so you can see from this that I've incorporated um, some of the um, pages that would house the photos. And then I just filled it up with all my leftover papers that I didn't want to throw away or different pages from books that I found interesting. And now I have this really cool foundation to glue, draw, write, whatever it is that we like to do, you know, in our journals. Then I took it a step further and I know that you've seen some of the other ones that have celluloid, but a lot of those are in disrepair. Well, this particular one, all the celluloid that was in the front of this particular album was literally chipping away. You couldn't even tell, you know, what the original picture was. So I repaired that, gave it a different finish, incorporated again some of the frames to the photographs. And then this one, I wanted to make this look a little nicer. So I wanted to go basically do this all in vintage. So you can see this one isn't as crazy as the previous junk journal where everything was haphazard. I try to stay a little bit with the theme of the outdoors of birds and trees and plants and maybe softer tones to go with more of a Victorian um, look to this one. I also have this really large book that I really like and sometimes I can't accommodate those pages in a regular sized journal but because these albums are so large I could accommodate it and see use some of the cabinet cards or you can make your own cabinet cards to incorporate some of those pages inside of your journal Lots of cute possibilities of what you can do with all of this. So this is one way that you can alter those albums. Then I had come across several really, really large ones. So I decided, I think I want to turn those more into a memory box. And so that's what I did. Here's one that I've done. It'll be hard to fit it here into the camera, but we shall try. And this has a story. It's a woman from the late 1800s. And the story is about her going against the grain of what was traditionally expected from women and her love for the outdoors and plants and bugs and all that and how she had to fight to do what she wanted to do and fulfill her dreams. And here she is as a child. That's her there as a child and her as an adult. I'm not going to go through this album right here because I want the new owner to have a few surprises that's just for her. But there is an album in there that depicts the, the journey of the owner of this memory box. In here are some other things that are part of her memories. I won't go into detail of all these again so that the owner can have something special and to look forward to. Here is our some little 
boxes, match boxes that have been altered to put little things in there also. And then in this one is a little book that she can look through. And then what I really think is special about these is I've turned them into music boxes. So let me wind this up. So while she's looking through her box with all the memories, she can also listen to the music box that is here. So now, if any of these are appealing to you, I have a new course that shows you how to make each and every single one of these from the junk journal to the little bit more sophisticated album to the memory box along with the music box. So I had a lot of fun putting these together. I had a lot of fun. It was a lot of work putting the workshop together, but I think you really will go away with a lot of knowledge. There's 22 videos. They um, total over seven hours of instruction, and it's step-by-step -step how you can make each of these individually and come out with um, a lot of knowledge that you can put and incorporate into the making and the altering of these photo albums.